Yeah, so here we are at the uh, Smart Energy Expo 2021 with uh, something new from LG. And I've got Phil here from LG to answer some of my questions. I mean, the first one, Phil, is I didn't know LG had such a small fridge on the market. Well, it is quite an incredible looking fridge, isn't it? Quite expensive for a fridge. Right. I would say, yes. So does it keep your beers cool? Uh, oh, of course it does everything. Right. Yes, it'll make you coffee as well too. <laughs> and uh, if you shrink it, you can use it as a Zippo lighter as well. Oh, that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, it's got a, 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 an aesthetic but it's pretty retro it's uh yeah. yes 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 i do like the look of it it's very very dense um it's uh this is actually a 16 kilowatt hour battery so at the scale i think it's uh, uh it's quite impressive that the engineers have been able to come up with something so so wow. energy dense. 16 kilowatt hours it's not even up to my chest and it's yes. about what 350 deep yep yeah okay yes yes and uh modular construction too so uh, it comes in three parts so for ease of installation the total weight of this is quite extreme you know it's 145 kilos uh but uh, we've got three different parts that go together so there are uh, front to back here there are there are two of these modules here which are eight kilowatt hours each and then we have the uh, the bpu unit on the top all right so a two-person lift for each of the components. Yes. Uh, it's floor mounted. Yes. So we don't have to hang it on a wall, very difficult. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it can be assembled on site. Yes. Next question is, what does it work with? Uh, it works with Solar Edge Energy Hub. Uh, so the, that, that's been delayed a little bit in the Australian market, uh, but it should be available in about six weeks. So it'll be the Energy Hub Inverter uh, with the uh, with the the Sesti S4 box initially, oh, the Sesti's back. Yes, the Sesti is back. <laughs> yes, and then uh, they'll be re uh, releasing an updated version of that uh, l later this year, along with the backup box for it as well. Right. And then uh, SMA integration is in uh, progress as well. Uh, with this model, it's the same model. We used to have two, two different uh, flavors of the 10H, but with the with the new range, it's the it's the same. It'll either do CAN communication or RS485. Ah, uh, that's good because yeah, you used to have the R or for the Solar Edge and the whatever it was for the for SMA, and yep. now it's just the one unit and it's firmware settings. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. And then we have GE, Goodweed, uh, SunGrove, and others coming shortly after. Right. Hopefully so there'll, by be a, the end of there'll be a suite of integrations. There will be a suite of integrations, yes. Now, this is a high voltage battery. Why the move to high voltage batteries? Well, the inverters are cheaper. Uh, that, that, that's part of it. So uh, it's a simpler installation as well too. So you can just use the same sort of cable you're using for your array, similar sort of voltages. We're not moving exclusively to high voltage batteries. We're, we're, we're keeping our uh, really reliable 48 volt range. Uh, so, uh, so yes, but it's, it's, it's tagging along with the inverters and the ease of installation as well. Right. Um, in terms of power, what sort of power output can you get from this? Seven kilowatts. And unlike our previous models, when you put two together, and you can put two together, and again, it's the same flavor. Primary and a secondary are both the one unit. You just address them separately. So seven kilowatts, and with two together, it'll be 14 kilowatts. Oh, of great. Power. So you can double the power with double the batteries, yes. double the storage. Do you need another? Uh, Resu Plus? No. No? No. It's simply addressing within the uh, within the, the BPU. Right. It just gets better and better. Yes. And uh, look, these are pretty gorgeous. So a couple of these in the garage are going to look just sweet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a uh, pretty tough feeling too. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very cast solid unit. Cast aluminium, yep. if you to last. Yes. Yep. Uh, uh, I think it's cast aluminium, the top steel at the bottom, yep. actually, I think. And uh, we also have, uh, I'll just open it up. Uh, we also have our breaker, which is easily user accessible without a tool. Ah, uh, yes, just, yes. Just, just in here. Now, that's, that's always one of the first things up. I say is, uh, so is a readily accessible isolator built in to save you putting one external? And yes, it is. So you just open that without a tool. Yes. Um, and there's a standard circuit breaker that you can lock in the off position. Uh, you can lock the, the, the cover probably. I'm not sure on that, but uh, you can lock this with a lock dog. Yeah. Yep. Yes, exactly. Um, what are the indicator lights here for? Uh, so there's a standard uh, operating, charging, discharging, and fault. So just very basic, uh, basic indicators. This will actually be connected to an online monitoring system independently of the inverter as well. So there is uh, an Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection. Normally, I would say Ethernet uh, connection, so that we have remote monitoring, and there'll be a, a user interface uh, 
uh, website and likely phone app coming shortly too for it as well for the user to just check on the battery. I'm inside. seeing this as a trend with quite a few batteries now is the battery manufacturer wants visibility over their battery. Yes. None of this, uh, we think it's the inverter. Yes. We think it's the battery. We go, we know who it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yes, yeah. No, yeah. it's really good. Oh, wow. So this is just a beautifully made piece of kit here. Um, is there any display visible on the front here? Uh, yes, there is. So the uh, indicator lights will show through here. Oh, right, the yeah. ones I just saw oh, there. Oh, sorry, just yep. okay. that side, yes. Right. Yes. So, yeah, charging, discharging, fault, and or, fault. and on off. Uh, yes. Yep. So, just real basic. So, so, one just to show it's in operation, then what it's doing, yep. and then if there's something wrong. Great. Mm. Well, thanks, Phil. I look forward to seeing one of these. Yeah, it's a pleasure. In the, in the flesh, you. connected to an inverter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before too long. Yep, thanks. All right, thank you. Great.